Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to model gravity loads in the RAM Structural System RAM Modeler. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to model some gravity loads, which will include defining the member load in the self-weight criteria, modeling superimposed gravity surface loads, modeling gravity line and point loads, and also how to model snow loads in the RAM Modeler. Before we model any gravity loads in the RAM Modeler, we will first review the member load criteria from the RAM Manager screen. Through the member load criteria, we can set the code for live load reduction, enter the snow load or roof live load category, enter the roof live load type, and the number of stories for live load reduction. For this training, we are going to be using a sample structure that has already been created in the RAM Modeler. This structure consists of several levels of both concrete and steel framing, and all of the slabs and decks have already been modeled. Now before we enter our gravity loads in the RAM Modeler, we are going to enter some criteria from the RAM Manager screen. And of course the RAM Manager screen is available as soon as you launch the product. From the RAM Manager, I'm going to go up to my Criteria menu, and I'm going to select the first option for Member Loads. Here I can enter my code for live load reduction, and I'm going to be using the general live load reduction method for the IBC. I also have an option to consider snow loads or roof live loads. In RAM structural systems, snow loads are assigned to the roof live load type, and for this reason it is not possible to have snow loads and roof live loads considered simultaneously. So you must choose right at the beginning which one you would like to consider in your analysis. For this training, we will be modeling some snow loads, so we're going to select this first option. We can also enter our roof live load types to define whether that load will be reducible or not. And for determining the number of stories for live load reduction, we can include our roof levels and include unreducible levels if appropriate and applicable for your particular building code. After you enter all of your member load criteria, we're going to go ahead and click OK. We should also enter our self-weight criteria before proceeding to model our gravity loads in the RAM modeler. Now the self-weight criteria can be entered right from the RAM manager screen and this will be used to specify whether or not you would like the program to automatically calculate the member dead loads or the story masses for your beams, columns, walls, and slabs and decks. If you select the options for calculating the member dead loads, this will be used to calculate and apply the self-weight of the structure as a gravity dead load, meaning that any additional gravity dead load that you create in the modeler will be superimposed on top of that. In addition, we can also specify the options to include the story masses. Now these will be used in the lateral analysis for the calculation of P delta, your periods and modes, and also your seismic forces. Now it's important to note that this can be done for beams, columns, walls, and slabs and decks. If your model contains steel joists or vertical steel braces, those types of member dead loads and story masses will not be considered. So if your model does contain those types of elements, you will need to add those as a separate superimposed dead load in the RAM modeler. To specify the self-weight criteria, go to the RAM Manager and the Criteria menu, and here I'll select the self-weight option. I will elect to have RAM Structural System automatically calculate the member dead loads and the story masses for my beams, columns, walls, and slabs and decks. Once I've entered all of my self-weight information, I can go ahead and click OK and now I'm ready to start modeling some gravity loads in the RAM Modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.